What's up, Ithaca High School? Welcome to Lay Street News. I'm Cora Easton. And I'm Hannah Barden. Today on the show, we have the school walkout, Tracy Matrano, Women's History Month, and an LACS fundraiser. So my mom's a teacher at a nearby school, and she's taking her students to New York City this weekend, but it happens to fall on the same day that St. Patrick's <laughs> Day is. But luckily, so the parade is fine, apparently. Like, they're still friendly, nothing's wrong. But once it hits happy hour, she's been told to avoid the streets <laughs> because it gets a little feisty, and we don't want to deal with that. Yikes. <laughs> this Wednesday, students across the nation participated in a school walkout at 10 o'clock in their appropriate time zones and remained there for 17 minutes. Some, school took s some schools took those 17 minutes to read the name of each of the 17 students killed in the Parkland school shooting, while others stood in silence. Students of Fiorello H. LaGuardia High School in New York City walked out and then proceeded to lie down in the middle of the street to support the demonstration. While some schools saw hundreds of their students swarm out, some saw only a f one or two walking in defiance against their administrators. More than 2,000 students in Washington, D.C. demonstrated the 17 minutes by sitting with their backs to the White House. As these demonstrations were happening, the House of Representatives passed a bill to fund increased security in schools. In total, over 3,000 schools nationwide participated in this demonstration, with some of the youngest walkers being a mere eight years old. Two more nationwide protests are planned for March 24th and on April 20th, the anniversary of the Columbine shooting. Savante Merrick has, a first, has officially endorsed Tracy Matrano for Congress for New York's 23rd District. Matrano's main points are focused on creating jobs, affordable health care, developing infrastructure, and protecting the environment. An online poll was sent by the Tompkins County Democratic Committee, which resulted in Matrano gaining more than 50% of the votes. To honor Women's History Month, we celebrate Carrie Fisher. She is, of course, most well known for her roles in Star Wars. However, before and after her success from these films, she was an accomplished screenplay reviser. She worked on notable films like Sister Act and The Wedding Singer. In 1987, she wrote a book called Postcards from the Edge that was adapted into a film starring Meryl Streep. Even at a very young age, Fisher had an interest in reading books and writing poetry. Even though she passed away in December 2016, her film's writing and memory survives by the family, friends, and fans that loved her. The LACS Disaster Relief Trip will be presenting a Great Gatsby-themed gala this coming Friday. The gala will take place at La Terrell from 6 to 9 p.m. The cost for entry will be $15. However, if you bring your student ID, the price will be $12. There will be a live band and good food for a great cause. That's all for this week, IHS. See you next week. You know, today, I just boy? woke up <laughs> and I like said, this. No, instead of waiting on a good day, <laughs> waiting around, through ups and downs, waiting on something to happen, I, I just said, Harry Potter's